Hello guys and welcome to my second episode of Supreme Commander 2. Although this won't seem like it to you guys because it'll actually be posted first. But um, this is my very first. Okay, we'll restart that one. This is the first episode you guys are seeing, but the second one I'm recording. So does that make any sense to you guys? I think it does. Okay. Well, that's settled. So I'm gonna redo the tutorial because when I recorded my first episode, it seemed really stupid because you guys didn't know how I learned how to play. So I'm gonna fix that problem and, well, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If you don't, well, oops. Welcome to the Quantum Vision Works Armored Command Unit Simulator, or QVACUS. It is brought to you by Quantum Vision Works, a division of QAI Industries. Quantum Vision Works, creating a better tomorrow for you today. This simulator is designed to teach you the basics of the battlefield using our patented Open World Environment Network, or OWEN. First, you need to become familiar with some of the methods for viewing the battlefield. Let's start with panning, also known as scrolling. Explore OWEN using the PAN interface. Alright, before I do anything, I'm just gonna tell you guys, I was silent all through that time, because the last time I tried to speak through it, it was like, oh god, this is just so stupid. Because you can't hear me, all you hear is this mumbling, followed by this hideous, and by hideous, I mean hideous, QVACUS, I put that in quotes, QVACUS program. Basically, all I'm gonna do is twitch my fingers. Excellent. Oh, I did it! Panning is most useful for moving small distances. Next, you'll want to become comfortable with rotating your view of the battlefield. Circle completely around the unit. Left. Alright, so basically if I move, if I, basically if I do this, oh, oh, what? While rotating your view is important, you want to be conscious of losing your sense of direction relative to your opponent. Liar. Next, you can view the battlefield from different angles. Adjust the pitch using the tilt interface. Okay, this isn't really that bad. See? And upsy daisies. Or vice versa. Good job. Finally, you can zoom in or out to get a closer or wider view of the battlefield. Watch and learn, noobs. Oh. There we Excellent. Go. Now let's talk about the Armored Ooh, Command yay. Unit, or ACU. It is piloted by you, the commander. Big tank. The commander is responsible for issuing orders to his or her forces on the battlefield. To do this, you will need to learn how to select units and issue simple commands. Ugh. Let's start by selecting the ACU itself. If it's gotten any harder, I might shoot myself. Okay, this is actually going to be an op optional episode now, because this is so ridiculously boring. Now we're dropping off some rockhead tanks near your current location. Select the Rockhead Tanks or the ACU and give them a move command to the exit of the facility. The path is marked. I'm gonna be sweet awesome here. And I'm gonna just be cool. And I'm gonna do this. By selecting all of my units. Oh wait a minute, let's just the rocket. There are multiple ways to select groups of units. Alright, although I really hate what you just did. That was really annoying. You have successfully moved units what? outside no, of the I facility. Haven't. Now, let's try some simple combat. Some nearby energy production facilities have been flagged as enemies. Select your ACU and rockhead tanks and order them to attack the energy production facilities. Alright, the first thing I'm gonna do is totally ignore what she just said. Because. I can be cheap about it. Why wouldn't I want to be cheap? So I can click this capture button and then click on the energy generator. I stand corrected. I can't capture an energy generator. Maybe I can. Units will automatically attack okay. when they're within range of an enemy unit. I don't know. They just want to attack. So I guess that'll happen. So what I just did right there is I told them to guard him, so that means attack any enemy structure that he's attacking, or basically anything like that. So what I'm doing with him is I'm actually taking back energy and mass, mostly mass. See? So 
all I'm doing is basically taking this mask, which is really useful, because um, later in this tutorial, I'm actually going to be able to use it. So that's really handy. And I'm going to continue destroying this by blasting it. So you can just look at that cannon, and you guys know that you love that cannon. Basically, I just tilted the camera a little so you can see him launching the cannon. Good job. They got what was coming to them. An ACU and engineers can be used to capture enemy units and structures. For example, this nearby warehouse is being used by your enemy. Use the capture ability of your ACU to take control of this facility. Oh, this is fun. But first... We'll just take that free moolah. I mean, you can't say no free moolah. You really can't. Now these tanks are actually guarding me. So if, he, um, if he's attacked by anything, those things will be the first guys to step into action and blow themselves up. Go. I'm just gonna cap that. That warehouse can now be put to use to store your own crates. Now, let's turn things up a notch. Who fun? A dozen enemy rocket tanks have been flown in and positioned on the battlefield. We've also dropped off a few more rock head tanks and some powerful Titan assault bots for your own use. Use your ACU. Rockhead tanks and Titan assault bots to destroy the enemy rockheads. Ooh, fun! So all of you protect him. We will have you go destroy that rock. Basically, all of these guys are just gonna go to blame it, blame it all. Admittedly, you love them. You guys love water. If you don't, then units gain experience. Well, that this gives okay. them levels of veterans, which increase their overall effectiveness. Super computer, through it. Congratulations, you're making great progress with Q Bacchus. It is brought to you by Quantum Vision Works, a division of QAI Industries. Quantum Vision Works. Visualizing peace with advanced weapons technology. <laughs> Hypocrites. The next part of your training covers economy and construction. Okay, this is the most boring part. Your ACU exactly. can be used to build the offensive and defensive structures that make up your base of operations. All right. Let's start I really, with the core really components of the base. Voice. Each so type of unit now, in an army, land, air, that, sea, and so experimental can, can be constructed at its own and, factory. Um, I can always change the sound Construct back on. Construct a land factory but, with um, your ACU. I apologize. So I'm going to turn the sound back on. Basically, if I click on an ACU, which is this unit here, I can tell me to build a land factory like that. To assist you in the build process, we've given you two engineer units. Like the ACU, they can be used Basically, to build they're structures. Like my ACU in terms of building, but Everything you build of has a specific mass so, and energy um, cost. The offensive part of the ACU Mass has, is produced by mass extractors, and these structures can only so be built at specific be locations. Moving on. Build a mass extractor on the mass indicator. So you see these really obvious mass points. Each that mass extractor way. and energy production facility generates mass and energy every second. If you need more mass or energy, build more of either kind of structure. So I'm gonna build some mass You also need energy, which is produced by an energy production facility. Construct an energy production facility with an engineer or your ACU. It can be built on any valid terrain. So I'm gonna build another mass extractor, and I'm gonna zoom way out here. Oh no, I can't. Well, that is stupid. I was trying to zoom out farther. There we go. So I can find my. Energy. Now I can get a lot more energy by creating these energy production facilities. So that's 
that's gonna be really useful later. And if you'll notice, the ACU... Oh, it actually can't be. There it is. So you'll notice the ACU actually built way faster than this engineer. Very good. You now have a base of operations. It's time to put that land factory to use. It constructs mobile land units. For now, it's limited to producing a single type. Build two rockhead tanks at the land factory. Hmm. Gunships. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some more energy facilities while I still can. So I'm gonna do that, so now I have some more energy, in case I need it. And I can basically select the rocket, and I'll just click on that. And then what I can do is I can click this button here, it says repeat the build. So basically every unit that's displayed on this area here, it will rebuild it, so I don't have to keep clicking. So it's like, lazy. And, well, none of you know, laziness is beast. Especially in this kind of game, when you learn about a dozen things at once. Really you can create rally points for factories. So basically what I can Once do here, set, each unit that rolls out of the factory will automatically move to that location. So usually what I do is I try to build a nice grid system with my energy. So that's what I'm doing now. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click. And that is where all the units come out of this building. They're all going to go right there. Excellent. You've added more rockheads to your army. AKA two. To protect your factories, you can construct add-ons that give them defensive capabilities. Build a shield like and that. tactical missile launcher add-on for your land factory. So, if you'll notice, it also says repeat, but these two here are single add-ons. So you can only add them once. So you don't have to worry about any kind of And my ACU is actually stuck. That's kind of fun. It's so unlikely that it gets stuck on It's just kind of long and And that is really entertaining. Alright, you guys can guard me. So you notice the shield just popped up here. And what I can do is I can zoom out enough that I can select all of my units and right click on my ACU. So all of my units basically protect my ACU, so I don't have to worry about- Excellent. Um, Your factory is now better defended. Attack. Other add-ons give you anti-air defenses, or increase the unit's radar range. Now that you have an army, it's time to put it to use. We've placed an enemy base near your position, and its two land factories are producing an army. You must destroy those factories to complete the simulation. Basically, my responsibility is to kick butt and move in and destroy these land hunts. To do that, I basically need to There assemble. are some heavy point defenses defending those factories. The first thing I'm going to do is destroy these point defenses. It's actually more important to destroy those because they're actually more powerful than these. So I'm actually sneaking my ACU to attack the um, massive guy. So that's going to be really good. And it would be even more useful. If I could um, heal my units. But it is very stubborn. Yeah. Now I can begin healing. Definitely gonna be so I can actually bring in my engineer and control here as well to uh, heal those units. I also have some more units that I can use. I'm grabbing more resources, even though I really don't. Um, 
um, you'll notice that I don't really need any of these resources, they're just kind of there. And it's kind of a show of what I can do later in the game, how many I'm actually going to need. You'll notice that throughout the game, I'm never going to get that much out of me. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the first part of QVACUS. Yay! This simulator has been brought to you by Quantum Vision Works, a division of QAI Industries. Quantum Vision Works, creating a better tomorrow for you today. So moving on to the next simulator. Operation oh, completed. Cool. So that is the tutorial. And we will see what the next operation is, and if it's the same, then I will not use it. I believe that was tutorial number one. This might be tutorial number two or mission one. If this is mission one, then I will actually um, not record any longer on that point and continue from um, where I left off on the LP on episode one. So this will actually be episode zero. So that'll be interesting. Kind of the mess up there. Okay, this is part two of the tutorial. Welcome once again to QVACUS. In this part of your training, you need to become more familiar with the role of technology and its impact on your battlefield performance. Oh, you have received new technology courtesy of Quantum Vision Works, including the Demolisher Mobile Artillery and the Titan Assault Bot. Ooh, fun. These units can only be deployed on the battlefield after they have been researched. Research both of these units. Oh. Well, that's really annoying. So I get, if you notice I have 10 up here instead of normal zero. And I can click on this, this, and this. Which is the exact number to research. The Demolisher on. and Titan are now available for construction at your land factory. Not only does research give you access to new units, it also improves existing ones. We get to see fun with her. To illustrate, QVACUS will auto-complete research for these rockhead tanks. Observe. An additional barrel increases the amount of damage the units can deal per second. That's cool. Anti-air gives them the ability to engage air units. Finally, shield technology gives them a considerable defensive boost. Now, these rockheads are a formidable force. Use them to engage an identical number of enemy rockheads, which lack any research improvements. Oh, this is gonna be you guys are just getting a little round tiny. They're trying in vain to attack the guy that's being healed. What would normally have been an equal battle was turned into an easy victory, thanks to the technology provided by Quantum Vision Works. Or not. We also make available to commanders a research station. It runs simulations of all battlefield data, generating more research points over time that can be used to acquire additional technologies. Construct a research station with your ACU or an engineer. So what I'm doing is I'm actually taking back resources that were used in the destruction of the unit. And that is actually really, really helpful much as it seems like it wouldn't be helpful, it is helpful. So what I'm just saying is... And what I also like to do with these is I actually do like to build these in a grid system. Basically, I'd like to build that there. Build there. So it's kind of a two-on-two. -two. Now I can use these to guard my engineer. So now while they're building those research stations, I'm just sitting here doing this. I'll actually build it. And you'll notice that the, um, the building thing will stay there until I have enough resources to commence building. So you gotta be aware that you might not actually be able to build these things. The more research stations you build, the faster you acquire those points. Right. 
Now it's time to give you a taste of what it's really like to be a commander. It isn't just about close-up views of small numbers of units. A real commander needs to take in the big picture. Right. For example, one factory is useful for building units, but a true commander has multiple. I don't believe you. Controlling a half a dozen units is one thing, but how about 50 or more? That's always fun. As your army increases in size, it can be difficult to manage an army of this size with this close-up tactical view. Using Quantum Vision Works patented strategic zoom technology, enter strategic mode. You've noticed I couldn't do this before, so this is kind of getting annoying. I'm actually going to build another one of those research facilities. Strategic mode gives you a complete overview of the theater of operations. Now that you're familiar with strategic mode, it's time to put it to use. Yay! Commanders frequently need to multitask. When you're not building units and structures at or around your base, you're engaging the enemy on multiple fronts all over the battlefield. Hmm. We've added two enemy bases to your battlefield, one to the north of your initial position and another to your south. Both are protected with point defenses and mobile units, and each factory is producing additional units. We're giving you complete control of multiple armies of mobile units. Ooh, yay! We're also giving you resources and factories to construct more units and research additional technologies. Using strategic mode, order your armies to destroy the marked target in each of the enemy bases. So I imagine that isn't too bad. But at this point, I'm gonna build some mass extractors.